Hmm. Okay, good morning. Our second family is remain. Uh, so family we are of today observing the family Melisi. Good example of this family. It is the Ajay Directa Indica. In Marathi, Kalapal Kodonim Mamanto. To a Bakan name. So these are these two photographs. Good. One is for the Ajay Directa Indica. And second one is the Melia Ajay Direct. Right. So you remember the name of the genus. So uh, this family, as we are knowing the plants they are characterized by the alternate usually pinnate leaves without stipules and secondly it uh, shows there is having the syncarpus type of the own uh, uh, condition is there then apparently flowers are the bisexual but actually they are sometimes showing the uh, uh, unisexual flowers born in the panicles panicles that is they are in the group same condition that is cymos then spikes uh, without pedicel and in the cluster the most of the species these are to be in our area or all over india we are very evergreen and some are the deciduous there is deep fall is there either in the dry season or in the winter season so these are general characteristics for this family mainly AC. and the family includes about uh, 53 genera and about the 600 known species right so uh, it is to be therefore uh, supposed as the panta uh, pantropical in distribution the one genus tuna t w o n e it is generally seen maximum in the north uh, temperate region of china and the south and the southwest uh, australia are there and these are the two good uh, photographs are there here you are observing uh, for as a direct indica then media as a direct generally in front of our uh, homes homes are there but generally we are observing the plants are generally commonly seen in the uh, along the roadside or the blank species then this is sweetaria it is the one larger tree and this is the tuna you see the magnified flower of the tuna is there and generally the sweetania uh, is there so it shows the which seeds are there then systematic position for this family it is the division panorogams flowering plant subdivision angiosperms ovary cell closing ovary class dicotyledons uh, reticulate venation and seeds with two cotyledons then subclass polypetaly petal spree right and the seed is thalami flory so it is uh, uh, after the first family and then uh, uh, there is a first series is there thalami flory this is flory so i know this and both these are from thalami flory right so stamens hypogynous order ranels first it is the first order uh, in the uh, Bentham and Hooker's classification, indefinite stamens and apocarpus condition. This condition already we have seen in the family Anonisi, right? And uh, this uh, it, it is the character for the family Anonisi. Uh, then uh, for me, they see the same uh, character we will see the, uh, in this one. Then please see the photographs of this uh, family. So this is the twig of Asia Directa Indica then uh, secondly yellow of flower you see the yellow of flower so it shows the ovary to nectary at the base of ovary it is the character of family meliaceae then thalamus on which floral parts are developing after the pedicel it develops thalamus and so uh, sepals petals then uh, androsium and gynosium innermost part is the gynosium so uh, you label it properly then secondly here you are observing ts of ovary it is showing five to six locules are there and one will in the each locule uh, stamens are very characteristic so syngenesis condition so here you are observing elements are uh, uh, not syngenesis but the stamens and the anthers are the free 
and those particles and the filaments are the uh, fused. So this and about the floral diagram, you observe there is a bract is there, two bracteoles on both sides, actinomorphic flower condition. Uh, by diagram, floral diagram, we should also describe the flower. Then calyx are five, gamosepalus, they are showing the hollow attestation. Corolla are five, petals are five, they show showing the twisted, uh, 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 sorry, imbricate, one is outer side, one is inside, and the three are alternating. Right, you see in the diagram, and the stamens are united, filaments, so they are shown in the ring, and over is the pentel ocular. So, character for this one, uh, our example is the Azure Directa Indica. I hold the new name as it is the Melia as a direct. So it is in English commonly called as the Margosa tree or the commonly we are calling as in English Neem tree. It is distributed in the tropical region. Commonly it is in the North India and it having the some medicinal properties are there. Habit uh, it is a large uh, tree with blackish bark. Then root system is taproot and branch. Uh, Stain is erect, aerial, uh, branch is solid, and the woody. Characteristic smell it is the character, leaves, colon, and the ramen that is on the main stem and the uh, branches. Alternate, petiolate, and compound type. Compound that is here we, we have observed. You see the leaves are generally showing the, this uh, condition, not a single dip, but it is a compound dip is there. Then the plates are there and in prostate reticulate penetration. Inflorescence is mainly cymose type and uh, it shows there is having the panical uh, condition, axillary panical. Flowers hypovinous spirocyclic trimerous. Trimeres, there are the petals are six in the three plus three. So this condition and flower hypovinous means all floral parts develop below the ovary. Already we have seen the LS of the flower. Uh, so after LS, uh, this condition shows the either hypogynous or epigynous. Then sepals show three petals six in two series and hallowed estimation. Stamens mainly spirally arranged with enlarged connective. Right. And the carpels mainly spirally arranged on the convex receptacle. So these are the some uh, characteristics. In relation to calyx and corolla, sepals, polysepalous. So this condition you see in the uh, uh, flower, corolla 4 to 5, it is uh, also there. Then gynoecium, carpels uh, generally 2 to 5 or up to the 6, syncarpus condition. Placentation exile, style is single and the stigma capitate discoid type. Now, other examples we have to give. So, tuna ciliata. Commonly it is called as a red cedar. Uh, this it is a large tree. Usually in commonly uh, flowers having yellowish uh, red dye used, which is used for dyeing of the cotton. And medicinally it is astringent and tonic property. It is the wood is used for furniture, tea, chest boxes are there and the cigar boxes are there so it is known as the indian mohogany then melia as a direct bakan bean so we are knowing in english it is called as a pride of india so along the roadside then hedge as a hedge plant or medicinally important it has a good uh, uh, killing property of uh, worms are there in the stomach or anthelmintic it is called as anthelmintic and the seeds in the rheumatism. Rheumatism that is the sandhivat. Uh, there is a pain in the joints of hand and the legs are there. So it is called as a rheumatism. Uh, uh, a fourth example is the sitania. So first one is the as a direct indica, then second tuna, third one melia as a direct, then sitania mohogany, fourth one. Uh, it is called as in West Indian mowberry. So it is a tree species used for timber and may be cultivated in as for timber in the part of Tamil Nadu state. 
uh, along the home or uh, along the uh, field side or wastelands. And one uh, good example, soy meda every fish. It is called as Indian red wood, and it is found in the western uh, part of the Rajasthan and the Bihar. So these are the some uh, good example for this family. Then as I direct I indica our so this is a good photograph of the with fruits and commonly it is evergreen we are already knowing the leaves uh, generally they are showing the dark greenish color so you remember this one then some uh, productions are there the decoction of the leaves it is used to relieve the fever and the, uh, as a insecticide margo paste it is the one good famous paste for the prepared from this one then disozylum mulbaricum it is white cedar you see how is the tree so it is endemic plant to the uh, this uh, western part and it is evergreen and same in the semi evergreen forest area then this is the sweetania macrophylla mowberry you see how is the tree so it is uh, commonly found in the america and introduced to india after the 1872 so uh, it is cultivated here uh, it is a, having a good avenue uh, uh, due to evergreen there is no leaf fall deciduous trees having the leaf fall each year evergreen trees generally not showing the leaf fall each year and uh, economically uh, importance so disophyllum mulbaricum sweetania and they are excellent for the timber the wood for the buildings bridges furniture it is commonly used and it is a good excellent bio pesticide so neem is supposed as a good bio pesticide i think we are doing the dashapatri so in this patri it is the main uh, part of the uh, neem is there then uh, uh, chukrasia tabularis it is the one good species you see the how is the tree and uh, generally uh, it's part so here the it is fast growing handsome tree semi evergreen in the forest of the india the gum is uh, generally uh, used in the indian gums because it is having also the medicinal properties other uh, uh, ex uh, all these examples as you go to here with chromosome number as a direct indica name deployed number 28 melia dubia great uh, name or malbar name uh, is there so it is uh, 2n28 uh, apanamixis uh, polystachia so it is having 36 and uh, 76 other species the ruitura tura then dizylum albaricum white cedar cedrella tuna 2n56 chlorozylon sweetania it is satin wood commonly called it and uh, uh, this one uh, it is the sweetania mohogany so all the you remember any two three example from this one with proper uh, genera and the species name okay so thanks to all uh, we'll see the next family in our 20th lecture family apocynes okay have a nice day